Mathematics 1, GL assessment for 11 plus. This is a multiple choice paper in which you have to mark your answer to each question on the separate answer sheet. You should mark only one answer for each question. Draw a firm line clearly through the rectangle next to your answer like this. If you make a mistake, rub it out as completely as you can and put in your new answer. Be sure to keep your place in the correct section of the answer sheet. Mark your answer in the box that has the same number as the question in the booklet. You may find some of the questions difficult. If you cannot do a question, do not waste time on it, but go on to the next. If you are not sure of an answer, choose the one you think is best. Work as quickly and as carefully as you can. Here are some questions for you to try. Press pause and have a go. When you finish, press play to come back. Question number one. What is this number in figures? 5,109. So 5,109. So your answer is E, 5,109. This first one, A, is 5,190. The second one, B, is 5,019. The third one, C, is 519. And the fourth one, D, is 51,009. So 5,009. 109 is E. And I will show you how you would mark that on the answer grid. For question number two, this symbol, which is represents the key, it stands for 12 ships. So that symbol stands for 12 ships. Look at this table. We have the dock. Dock is where you keep ships. So A, B, and C dock, that's where they keep a number of ships. It has A has got one of them, which is 12. B has got one of them and then a half. So it has 12, half of 12 is six. So it has 18. C has got half, which is six. The question says, how many more ships are in dock A than dock C? So in A, A has 12, C has six. So what's the difference? 12 take away six is six. So your answer is six and you will mark it on the answer grid, and I'll show you how to do that. Number three, what is the value of the seven in this number? I have put a decimal place value chart there to help you. The number is 7,240. You wouldn't have this chart in an example. You imagine in your head, the seven goes in the thousand, the two goes in the hundreds, the four goes in the tens, the zero goes in the ones. So what does the seven represent? What's the value of the seven in this? It represents 7,000, not 700, 7,000. So that would be, it goes in the 7,000. And that's how you do that type of question. Here are questions four, five, and six. Press pause and have a go at it. When you are ready, press play. Question number four. The hills are at three, four. The lighthouse is at. So we have to know what the lighthouse symbol looks like, first of all. So that's the symbol for the lighthouse. So you can see those little stars there. It shows it's a lighthouse. So where is it at? You go horizontally first before you go vertical. So it's along the stairs and up the corridor. Remember, along the stairs and up the corridor. So we go along the stairs one and we go up the corridor six. So it is at one six. And that's where we choose the answer, one six. Question number five. What is the missing number in this sequence? So for a sequence of numbers, what do you do to get from 393 to 384? You minus 9. 393 minus 9 is 384. 384 minus 9 is 375. So you, take, you subtract 9 each time or you minus 9 each time. So 375 minus 9. 375 minus 9. 5 take away 9, it cannot go. You will borrow 1 from the 7, it becomes 15. 15 take away 9 is 6. And you're left with six here, you write the six down. 
and three take away zero is three. So the answer is 366, 366. And question number six, how many of the triangles fulfill the hexagon? You would divide the hexagon into triangles. So you can do diagonal lines, which goes through the center. So you would have one, two, three. Those lines go through the center and you count the number of triangles. These are equilateral triangles. The triangles are all the same, equilateral. The three sides are the same. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So the answer is D6. There are six triangles. These are questions seven, eight, nine, and 10. First pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answers, first play. Question number seven. Ivita was 1.43 meters tall. She grew two centimeters more. How tall was she then in meters? So we have to change everything to meters. So we already have 1.43 in meters. We need to change two centimeters to meters before we add them. So you need to remember this fact. 100 centimeters is equals to one meter. So it was two centimeters equals to. So to change from centimeters to meters, you divide by 100. Remember that to change from centimeters to meters, what do you do? You divide by 100. So two divided by 100. When you divide by 100, you take the decimal place two places behind. So you will write two and you move one, two, and you put a zero under the arch. So your answer will be 0 0.02 meters. So it's 0 0.02 meters. Now you can add it 1.43 meters plus 0 0.02. Put them in a straight line. The decimal point should be in a straight line. The numbers in a straight line before you add them. Three plus two will give you five. Four plus zero will give you four. And then you write the decimal point and one plus zero will give you one. So your answer will be 1.45, which is A. And I'll show you how to mark it on the grid. Question number eight. What fraction of the whole shape is shaded? Whenever you see fraction, think of part of a whole. A fraction is a part of something divided divide by the whole. So we need to find the whole. How many of those triangles are in that big triangle? So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the whole is nine. Let's look at the part. The part is the ones which are shaded. How many are shaded? One, two, three are shaded. So the three over nine are shaded. But your answer has to be simplified. So three divided by nine. So you divide the top, the numerator by three. Three divided by three is one. And the denominator nine divided by three is three. So you get one over three. And your answer is B, one third. Question number nine. Write the correct number in the box. 123 divided by a number is equal to 123. The key here is the number does not change. 123 and 123 on the left and right. Whenever it doesn't change, you're either divide, you're dividing by one because one dividing by one does not change the answer. So your answer is one. So remember, when you divide by one, the answer stays the same. When you multiply one by one, the answer stays the same. Like 123 times one is 123. 123 divided by one is 123. So try and remember that key fact. Question number 10. Now we move into a little bit of algebra. A minus nine is equals to 10. What you can say to yourself is, what number do I remove nine from? And the answer is 10. You can start thinking, if I remove nine from 19, what would I get? I'll get 10. So you can figure that out. But if we do it in algebra, where we can think, what's the opposite of minus? Minus is plus. The opposite of the inverse of minus is plus. So what we do, we take the minus nine on the left to the right side. When it goes to the right-hand side, it becomes a plus. So you imagine this is your left-hand side. 
and that's your right hand side. So you take the minus nine to the right hand side, it becomes plus nine, it becomes 10 plus nine, it becomes 19. So A would be 19. So when you go for your math exams, this is what the math answer sheet will look like for the mathematics answer sheet. So you have to fill in pupil's name, your school name, date of test, pupil number, school number, your date of birth, where you fill your day, month, and year like this. So here are the answers which I completed for the first 10 questions. So familiarization answer sheet mathematics one, GL assessment for 11 plus exams. Very important, this information I filled in correctly. Pupil's name, Ariana Grande. Date of test, 17 October 2021. School name, All Saints School. Please mark the boxes with a thin line like this. So pupil number, 135256. So 1 is marked, 3 is marked, 5256. Five, you can see that. And school numbers, this one will be given to you, 2228899. Two, two, eight, nine, nine. That's how you mark it. And you put in your date of birth, 2020. So that will be 20. Two zero. The month is June, so that will be June in there, and the year 2012, 2012. When you fill in those information, you're ready now to start marking your answer. Our first answer was 5,109, so I marked 5,109. If I had made a mistake and marked 5,019, I would rub it off, and then I will mark the correct one. You only mark one answer out of the one, two, three, four, five. I marked one answer clearly and you can see i almost shade all of that white box for so it's very important you can see there i shade almost all of that little white box completely because a computer that is reading the answer you need to shade it clearly not just a tiny part the whole thing so that you can get your answer marked properly and without mistake now answer for number two was six answer for three is seven the other one one six three six 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 one point four five one over three one nineteen Point three seven point five eight week so i did number one to ten so that's how they do it but when they mark the exam they don't take it like that they put it in the computer and the computer reads it that's why marking your exam with a pencil is very important so let me show that marking of it again because sometimes if you want to mark an answer like 366 say for example we had 366 there i don't just put like a little dot like that I actually shade it completely. That way I know for sure it would be read by the computer. But if I made a mistake and I had put like 368 for the answer, I would rub it off properly. I don't just rub part of it. If you rub only part of it off and then you have the correct answer, the computer will see it like two answers and will mark it wrong. You wouldn't get the mark. So it's important that when you rub it off, you rub it off completely. So there's only one of them left. So I hope that helps you with preparing for your exam.